Hey folks, Pastor Stephen here from Beaumont Presbyterian Church. You and I are in the wilderness of Lent, and we're also in a different kind of wilderness as the coronavirus spreads and we are taking a lot of precautions in order to protect one another. We are having to be creative about ways that we build community while practicing social distancing. Social media can be a very helpful tool in doing that. So I thought over the next several weeks I would upload a video series called Wilderness Lessons to help us stay connected and just to uh, be pastorally present with you in this time. Today I'd like to talk about gratitude. I wonder what do you think about when you think of that word, gratitude? Maybe it's saying thank you to somebody who has done something nice to you. Maybe it's being mindful about the blessings that God has provided for us. I wonder what that means for you. For me, gratitude is something that I practice. When you practice something, that doesn't mean you always get it right. Uh, so I practice gratitude as a way to keep myself grounded. And when I'm at my best, I remain grateful. When I'm not at my best, I sometimes forget about what I have to be grateful for. Now you may notice that when I use the word gratitude, I use that word grounded as well, because I think that gratitude keeps us grounded in what God is doing in our lives. This is a time of of anxiety. This is a time of stress for all of us as a country. This is a time of disorientation. And when we find ourselves in those places of stress, anxiety, and disorientation, it is especially important that we remain grounded in gratitude. Because if we stay grounded in gratitude, that keeps us centered on what we are originally, and that is children of God. And to have gratitude for something, it means that you appreciate it, uh, but to have gratitude for something also means that you seek for other folks to have that same blessing. So for example, if I am grateful for the fact that I have food on my table, then in order to really be grounded in that gratitude, I must also work for other folks to have food on their table. If I'm grateful for the roof over my head, then I must also work actively to make sure that other folks have roofs over their head. If I am truly grateful for having a few weeks supply of toilet paper, it means I don't go out to Kroger or Costco and buy eight months supply of toilet paper or baby formula or whatever that is needed so that other folks can have it. So I'm curious this day, how are you practicing gratitude? I can tell you right now a few things I'm grateful for in these stressful times. I'm grateful for a network of people who I can communicate with in social media, through text, through phone calls. I am grateful to have a church community that values being a community together even when it is difficult to do so in person. I am grateful for my amazing wife. Uh, we are in our third trimester of, our, of her first pregnancy, our first child, and we are grateful for uh, that everyone is happy and healthy at this time. I'm also really grateful for my dog. Elsie is so nice to come home and snuggle with, uh, even after I've had a long, stressful day. And also, I'm really grateful for music. Nothing settles me down and calms me and keeps me centered like listening to my favorite music. And I'm really grateful for that gift. And I'm also grateful that here at Beaumont Presbyterian Church, music is such an important part of our life and that we were able to share that yesterday in worship uh, through the same camera that I'm using right now to record this message. So folks, as we uh, continue this journey of the wilderness of Lent, I implore all of us to remain grounded in gratitude. Take a chance today to call up somebody or, or sit down with your family and to share with one another what you are grateful for. For gratefulness keeps us grounded. Friends, stay safe, wash your hands, enjoy the rest of your week, and we, in, we invite you to join us this next Sunday as we will live stream our services on Facebook Live yet again 
at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless you all. Bye now.